Hassan goes to ground, wins a free kick here. Wow, might take it quickly, <laughs> might not. He might wait for his players to come forward. Looks like he will. It's a pretty good position. Throws it towards the back post. Headers on goal and it's off the bar. So another chance there for Cherry Beach. Real good opportunity. We'll take another look at he this here. There are several players at that back post. Real nice strike off the head. Hughes knew it was high though and just got let it go as that was nearly just right over to the top of the crossbar in the end. A good chance off the set piece. Oh my God. Now, a poor goal kick here resulted in a quick attempt back at the net from Al Sadifi. But he's unfortunately going to slip that one past the goal post. There you see Margarito for Aurora. Uda's sister. Dylan Uda's sister, interesting story about him. He wants to get into mechatronics engineering. Now when I saw that, I had to look up what mechatronics was. Quite interesting, it combines mechanical, electrical, telecommunications, control, and computer engineering, so good luck to him. That sounds like quite a bit of studying. Here is the aforementioned Uda, Uda sister here on the sideline. Oscar Mullen, a stop on that one, but there's a free kick awarded. Another good position here for Cherry Beach. Mohamed Hassan had a good one last time. See what he can do with this one. Greg Lagos in a good position here to be a target. Also up there is Corrado Di Lorenzo. He also may well take a shot on goal here. Hughes not normally a goalkeeper. He will shoot it. That one's going to soar quite a bit high. No threat that time. Under 15 to go in the first half now. It's Connor Buster Mullen will take this one for his goalkeeper. He's an Offset champion. Won the AA High School Championship with his Holy Trinity High School in Bradford, Ontario. They already had a good soccer season. Get to extend that with Aurora here. Sesto's looking to pick that one up from Anthony Raponi there for Aurora, but Raponi couldn't find him with the ball. Now it's just thrown in. Cherry Beach. It's Hassan. He's been all over the field. Sesto, Sesto trying to roll off of his check, get some room on the right side. Curls it in, Coelho goes over his head. Almost got to Phillips. No, unable to control that in midfield was Neil. But he's still in the battle there with Lagos. Neil gets it back, he'll fire one through. No trouble at all for the goalkeeper who hasn't touched it in a while is Andrew Sarivar. Get a little bit bored back there. Definitely looking like a solid keeper and be tough to beat tonight. Ball ahead here now. Al Sadifi, he just taps that one quite a bit high again. He was had room as he now falls on the ground, upset with himself. Yeah. The second opportunity he's had from inside the 18 with almost no defenders in front of him. The first time he put it right into the goalkeeper, this time he puts it high over the net. I let him, I fucked up on play. I'm Oscar Mullen, nice goal kick Gets to midfield. Margarito gives it to Phillips. Phillips gets it back here. 
as three Cherry Beach players in a triangle. He didn't really make an option, so he sends it back to Uda's sister, who gets it to Neil. Neil tries one forward, stepping up to intercept that one. Cherry Beach defender David Keatley. Here's Neil again. Trying to start this off. It looks at Phillips. Phillips was open on the far side there. He's also in an offside position. The ref will let that one slide as he never made a play on the ball. Or interfered with anybody trying to make a play on the ball. Is the goalkeeper able to scoop that one up? And here is Keatley. Taps it back to D'Souza. Now rolled back down to Shalravar. D'Souza in the middle again. He had pressure from Sesto. That one almost gets out up the sideline, but held in. And now there's Keatley again. Keatley, nice pass to Hassan in the middle. Played down into the corner, running after there is Daniel Oliva. He's had a good effort already in this one as they run into the corner flag. And it's going to be a goal kick. Those are the heavy corner flags. Ball down too easy, so when the ball hits them that hard, the linesman over there has a decision to make, especially if the ball stays in play. Calls it out. Settle down here, Phillips. Bit of a battle there, a nice bicycle kick to clear that one away. Now Oliva. Down the sideline it will go, a little hand on the back there by the Aurora defender. Cherry Beach wanted the call. It looks like they are going to get one. The referee played the advantage for as long as he could, but he saw that grab from Anthony Raponi as he tried to get a handle on the streaking Oliva. Here's a look there as and there you see the hand is just as that run was starting. It's actually on the back of uh, Corrado Di Lorenzo who's making that run for Cherry Beach. As it was the pass made by Oliva. Nothing doing on the free kick though, it rolls out. Goal kick coming. There's been a couple chances now as they into the final ten minutes of the first half. U17 boys. CSL soccer action, our sub being made here by Cherry Beach, their second of the game. Checking in for them is Ali Manji. Big tall striker, he'll play into things up front. Cherry Beach has dictated much of the play in the second half of the first half here. Possession time inside the Aurora end, definitely in their favor. The times when Aurora's been up front for a significant periods as well. Miles to meter, turned over. Phillips passed that to an open area of the field. No one was there on his side. Now free kick going to be called against Cherry Beach. Options on all sides here. It's played down the right side. Not quite going to make it. Alex Sesto playing back farther than we've seen in most of this game. He wins that nicely, though. Now ball played ahead again to Phillips, who tries to run this one down, but he can't on the fast turf here at Monarch Park. It's tough to control at the times here. Six months of the year, this uh, stadium is covered by a dome. And Cherry Beach is able to use it all year round. Keatley again there for Cherry Beach on the far side. 
Gets the ball back. Lays it nicely in the middle to Hassan. Hassan steps around the defender. He's got some room here, but 20 yards out. It's poked away from him. The meter joining the rush again. Plays give and go. Phillips back defensively there. Able to tap with it. Uda sister. Oh. Play with that one down in his corner here. See what he can win, if he can win that goal kick or not. Using that corner flag to stay up. That ball is still in play. No one's really touching it. The line's been right in front of me. He has a good look at it. And it is going to be a goal kick in the end. So nice defending there by Uda Sister. Now a chance for Aurora to switch the pitch here. Sesto gets ahead on it nicely to Coelho. He's been pretty quiet since the first five minutes of this one. Coelho has. Been able to get the ball through to him. It's been Phillips getting most of these passes down the wing. He gets another one here as he chases it down. Able to hold it in. And it's poked off his feet. It will be a throw down deep in the corner. Sun just poking over the trees at the far end here, the Cherry Beach, just behind the Cherry Beach goal. Shouldn't be too much trouble for the goalkeeper. At either end now, definitely not in the next five minutes. Tipped away, and that's off. Uh, that is ruled to be off Sesto, that's what I thought as well, even though Sesto made his case to the referee that it was gonna be a corner, and it is a goal kick. Sharabar with the goal kick here for Cherry Beach. Struck that very nicely, goes all the way down. Almost to the 18 at the other end as this one's crossed into the middle. Ball was looking for Ali Manji, but scooped up by Pews. So it's a fair share of work tonight for a goalkeeper who hasn't played a lot in net this season. Sesto now wanting a foul on that altercation he had there in the middle of the field with D'Souza. Referee not granting it. is the team in between these two in the standings. Sitting at 19 points. In Aurora's 17 points. Cherry Beach is 21. And Cherry Beach also with a game in hand here on Aurora. So Aurora really needs to win this one if they're going to jump up to those top four. Just a few games left in the season. Three for them after this one. There's Keep the. Ball played in low. It's going to go harmlessly across the box. Pews will watch it out for a goal kick. Not long for either team to make. Plays towards the goal here and change this nil nil scoreline before halftime. It'd be a big one if it happens. It'll really change. Swing some momentum. There hasn't been a whole lot of that at all in this game. It's been a pretty <laughs> calm game for both sides. <laughs> now a poor goal kick right into the feet of Manji here. Hassan is on it. He steps around a couple players and fires this one on goal. It's off the upright. Bounces back into the 18. And Cherry Beach still with possession here. Hassan, a great shot again. But the post, not his friend, is now a long shot. He's in on pew as he knocks it down and gobbles it up. So an opportunity off of a turnover on a goal kick that time. And there's a look at Hassan from about 25 yards. Straight off of the upright. Not sure if Pews would have got there or not if it was inside the post. He was around the area, but that was hit with quite a lot of velocity. Now a ball played ahead to Hassan. He's behind the defense. He'll shoot. And oh my goodness, he's tipped it wide. 
from about eight yards out. He sliced it off the outside of his toe and it missed that right post. He can't believe it, his coaches can't believe it. Pugh's out nicely cutting off that angle, but that's one that he'll want to have back. I think next time he might just go and tap it the inside of his foot rather than try to go for that fancier finish. So a break there for Aurora. Two opportunities for Hassan near the end of this first half. Fanji now chasing down Uda Sister. The battle of number 20 is down in the corner. And Cherry Beach able to come away with it. Poke the top. There's Hassan again. He's in his feet. He's in the area. Couldn't control it. And there's Sesto. He loses it though. Aurora scrambling a bit here, but now they do get the clear. Sesto with lots of room in the middle of the field. Use those long legs with good pace, and now he's bound a man in behind. Here's a shot from McIntyre. There's Sesto again, but he couldn't get a second foot on it. And again off his line, making a nice stop with Shaurivar. Play opening up here in these final three minutes. We're 30 seconds away from injury time in the first half. Which there won't be a lot of. Now Aurora with a chance. Here's Neil. Blaze this to Margarito. And now there's Coelho on his left foot, curls it towards the keeper. And into the safe hands of Sharavar. Refereed saying that there is absolutely no added time in this first half. I'd have to agree with him. It was a pretty fast moving half. And in the end, no goals on either side. A couple nice stops from the aggressive keeper for Cherry Beach. And a couple of uh, stops from the woodwork at the other end. Keeping Aurora in this one. It's nil to nil at halftime between Aurora and Cherry Beach. We'll be back with the second half on Rogers TV. This is Central Soccer League action on Rogers TV. First-half highlights from the Central Soccer League game between Cherry Beach and Aurora. Started out relatively slow for both sides. Some poor crosses, and the goalkeepers both getting an early touch on the ball. And then uh, later on, opportunities developing. Phillips, a nice challenge against him there from the back line for Aurora, which was pretty solid all half long. Then a corner kick here, resulting in a big collision. Uda Sister would be fine. He'd get up from that collision. And a back door header that was called back due to a violation. He's coming in there was Drew D'Souza. He didn't like the call. Nice header opportunity that went off the bar. That was the first bit of woodwork that Jack Pughes got help from in that first half and net there for Aurora. Then Hassan in behind the defense. Couldn't find the goal from about eight yards out. Tough break for him. Cherry Beach had the better opportunities in the end. Aurora had one as well, but nil-nil is the score line at the end of the first half. And the team is coming back out on the field here to begin uh, the second half at Monarch Park Stadium. Cherry Beach and Aurora, this Central Soccer League under 17 men's game. You mentioned these two in the top half of the 16 team table, separated by just four points. And we'll see if one if we'll have a winner in tonight's game or if this will end in a draw. Cherry Beach has some good opportunities down the stretch. Aurora had one as well in that first half. As the game opened up a bit, we'll see how this second half begins. Called on the sideline there is Kibeti O'Brien. He's off the bench. As it rolls off his foot. But it does go for a corner in the end. Corner kick played right into the box immediately here by Cherry Beach. Headed away though. It is offside as the player in the corner was well behind that back line when that ball was initially kicked. Trying to catch the linesman napping a bit there, but he didn't. So the teams, of course, have switched sides here for the second half. Aurora is in the white shirts, black shorts. 
Going left to right across your screen and Cherry Beach in black and red. Going right to left. So the Aurora throw in here on the near side from Anthony Raponi. He'll leave it though. As coming over is his teammate Billy Cole. Billy Cole, one of five players in the Aurora side to play in all 11 games this season. It's been a tough season for injuries. Players going away here at the end of the summer as well. These players, 17 years old, a couple call-ups in the game as well that are 16, but they're approaching that time of their soccer careers. They're playing at this level where they're looking at scholarships, looking to advance up in uh, the development ranks in both Canada and the United States. There's lots of different leagues you can go to. So these games are all important for an, on an individual basis, that's for sure, for these players. As this one rolls out now, it will be a goal kick in the end awarded here to Aurora. Of course, these teams who do like to stick together through the through the age groups, sometimes bouncing from league to league, sometimes staying within the league for a few years. There's an opportunity for the top teams in this table of the Central Soccer League, for example, to go up to the OYSL next season. Not always is that opportunity taken. Sometimes certain clubs fold, other ones are added. And it's not always a, an even system that you see in uh, more uh, developed systems over in, in Europe, but uh, things definitely developing in Ontario soccer over the years. We've seen quite a few new leagues come into play and the overall level of soccer improve for sure. Another corner kick one here by Cherry Beach as they continue to hold possession, picking up where they left off at the end of that first half. The short corner this time, Hassan is there. He Fakes across and is in the area. He shoots it low and a foot save by Pews, who almost came off his post, but he just kept it down. Tricky play from Hassan. It almost worked. Now shot from well outside. Again, a foot save from Pews, who you can tell is not quite used to playing goalkeeper as he's uh, pretty adept with his feet, though, in blocking those shots. That's not that's pretty tough to do, actually, and keep that in front of you. As here's that near side effort from Hassan. That Pews keeps out. So Cherry Beach keeps the pressure right on here. Aurora's got to clear this one out, but again, just the one sub on their bench. Not a lot of rest here for these players. Well, they are used to playing significant minutes. Always tough to play, on de tougher to play on defense against your stamina, though. They get it to midfield now, but uh, firmly within the possession of Cherry Beach, Cabetti O'Brien is on it. One of the call-ups here. He's got the 13 on his back with an underline underneath it, because there is another 13 on his team. That's Muhammad Hassan. An interesting adaptation. ahead here in the corner, good defending there from Uta Sister. Now Neil has some room. So Roar looks to use that far sideline. Uta Sister now pushing and shoving a bit there as the ball was taken from him. The referee calling it against Cherry Beach. Neil's gonna take the free kick. There hasn't been too much of the rough stuff in this one. Ball was played down the side, look, looking for Nelson Coelho. And now he's on it. Coelho, lots of defenders in front of him, about five Cherry Beach defenders between him and the goal. No one around him to help. So Aurora really dropping back defensively here to try and keep this nil-nil draw and look for a counter opportunity to maybe sneak out a one-nil victory here. Pews, long ball ahead. There's Coelho. Playing into the middle, flips it nicely to Sesto. Sesto with some speed. He's around the defense and he's in the box and he's hauled down, but the referee waving play on there. Didn't look like there was too much contact. Play will continue, but turned over again. Aurora has it. Sesto hustling to get back on side. There's O'Brien. Ball's knocked away from him. It's on the foot of Raponi. And he gets it back. 
Foney dancing around here a bit, finds an opening, and now pokes it down into the corner where he's got room. Crosses it, but couldn't hold it in. That'll be out for a goal kick as it did not touch the defender on the cross. As here's a look at that play into the box, a little bit of a jersey tuck maybe, but uh, for Sesto, I think you gotta make a little more contact with the defender if you're gonna get a call that's gonna result in a, a penalty kick. He felt that tug and went down and for a referee watching from that far away when players are going at that speed, uh, he's not gonna call a negligible tap or negligible pull like that. So Sesto unable to win that penalty. Trying to hose down this goal kick. Roar with a little bit of response here. Seven minutes into this first half. Now Hassan, he's been dangerous in this game as we expected. Played the ball square that time. Uda's sister got in the way and just taps it out onto the track here at Monarch Park Stadium. Neal off the throw in. Plays this one up to midfield. Nice touch that time. Sesto on the run again here. He's got some pace back. He chases down the Cherry Beach defense, but saved. And again, that's the second ball we've seen go over the double fence here and end up in the backyard of Monarch Park Collegiate. They're going to send someone back there to get those game balls. Field, there's Neil. David Neal playing rep soccer for 10 years. Turns it over that time, and now Cherry Beach in the counterattack, but that's broken up by Busker Mullen. A lot of these players on the Aurora side have uh, been a part of trips over to Europe. The Aurora organization doing a good job of getting these players over there and exposed to the pro game in Europe. So many leagues over there, so many professional leagues. A lot of international players will find opportunities to, to break in, even at the lower levels. They got a chance to play against some of the academy clubs, go to a, two, a few EPL games. They do that pretty much every season. A lot, some of these guys have actually gone twice in their Aurora careers. The manager, Angelo Hatatolios, one of the guys in charge of those trips. All played ahead here looking for Manji. But a nice play back there by Billy Cole. Hassan again in the middle of the field. Pokes that one ahead. Top of the 18, strike on goal. And there it is, Cherry Beach opens the scoring. It comes in the 55th minute, 10 minutes into the second half here as the long effort from Corrado Di Lorenzo, one of the call-ups tonight for this Cherry Beach side, and he is able to find the back of the net on the nice pass from Hassan. He pulls it back to his left foot, and that's nicely placed as Pews was back on his line. He wasn't in too bad of a position, but there's your opening goal. Comes from a bit of an unlikely source, but Cherry Beach's pressure paying off here, going up one nil, and Aurora will need to answer. Referee not liking the protests from uh, the Aurora players right now wanting a high kick on that last coming together of players. They're still giving it to the referee a bit here. who's telling them to calm down. Sesto at midfield. Wins a free kick that time as he got a foot in the back of his ankle. A little more urgency now in Aurora's game. Neil taking most of the set pieces this one for Aurora. Hits that one ahead. There's Phillips. Back 
to Uta's sister. 